So now we're solving a problem um, using equation. It says use the table to find the number of miles x you need to bike on Friday so that the mean number of miles biked per day is 5. Now first of all remember mean is like average. So we have to find the average. So we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So remember to find the average we add up all the numbers so we have 3.5 plus 5.5 plus 0 plus 5 plus x all divided by 5 equals what we want to average per day, which is 5. So now, we're going to simplify this. So we're going to add the top, and we have 3.5 plus 5.5, which would be 9, plus 5, is 14, so we have 14 plus x all over 5 is equal to 5. Now we're ready to solve this. Well, in this problem, since the whole top is being divided by 5, to undo that, we have to multiply both sides of this equation by 5 first. Those divide out, and we get 14 plus x is equal to 25. And now we solve for x by subtracting 14. And we get x is equal to 11. So for us to average 5 miles per day for biking, we would have to make sure that we rode for 11 miles on Friday. Now here's a problem that you can go ahead and try to solve. Uh, again, you can pause it, try to solve it. Again, the main thing here is the distance away, 50, would be replaced for D. So you're going to put 50 in there and then solve this equation. Go ahead and pause it and solve. Now, the answer you should have gotten is that N would equal 48 feet of hose. 48 feet of hose is what you would need to help put out a fire that's 50 feet away. Here's an example too. Your school's drama club charges $4 per person for admission to a play. The club borrowed $400 to pay for costumes and props. After paying back the loan, the club has a profit of $100. How many people attended the play? So in this case, they charge $4 per person. So four times P that would give us the total amount of money that they had. They had to pay back $400 and they would still have $100 left. So now we have this equation that we can solve for P to help us determine how many people attended the play. So again, there's no simplifying that needs to be done here. We're just ready to solve a two-step equation. So we're going to add 400 to both sides. We get 4p is equal to 500. Now we're going to divide both sides by 4, and we would get p to be 125 people. And again, when you're doing word problems, you need to make sure you label things. So there again, we're using multi-step equations to help solve a real-life problem.